putting footwork, it's really important for you to prioritize your form and your execution. And footwork is usually performed at ground level, using your hands and feet and creating a lot of steps. The starting position for footwork should be in a squat position with your heels off the floor. And when placing your hands on the floor while performing footwork, you want to avoid your hands being flat on the floor, as this is a very clear indication that you are a beginner if you perform your footwork with flat hands. The way you do want to place your hands on the floor is what I call with the Spider-Man position. As you see Spider-Man take this position in a lot of pictures, basically keeping your palm off the floor. What you don't want to do is place your fingertips on the floor as this can lead to serious finger injury. And trust me, if you hurt your finger, then you're going to have a lot of issues while performing footworks. These positions with your hands and feet will make your footworks lighter, faster, and more comfortable over time. Ultimately, not making you look like a complete beginner. And the way I like to explain this to really young kids is by using the example of Spider-Man and a duck. That's right. If you look at a duck while a duck is walking, you can see that his feet are really flat on the floor, not giving him any style, lightness, or comfort whatsoever. But then when looking at Spider-Man, he almost never puts his feet or hands flat on the floor at the same time, making him really light and agile. And these are things that we want to use as b-boys and b-girls to make our moves look more legit. Also, let me just add right here that you want to learn all of these footwork variations in both directions. And being able to perform your footworks in both directions will multiply the available possibilities for you. Also, most beginners do not learn their footworks in both directions. So if you're that one person who does learn it in both directions, it will give you major advantage in the eyes of a pro. So let's start working on our footworks because we get a whole bunch to go through. First up is the Zulu spin. Start with the squat position and stretch your left leg out. Make sure that it's not completely stretched as we are not performing gymnastics. Lean on your left foot while performing a full 360 degree rotation and ending up in the same position you started while keeping the right leg bent and positioning that foot on the floor to regain balance. Once you get used to the leg work of the Zulu spin, we're going to add a 90 degree rotation while holding that squat position. This 90 degree rotation makes sure that you perform your Zulu spin on one spot so you stay in the middle of the floor. Don't forget to perform and exercise this in both directions and always finish up in a freeze or stand up into a pose to finish off your move or combo. These rules apply to you with every move at any time and don't forget this during practice. is the Russian step. Start with the Zulu spin position. In this position, you are going to hop and make a leg switch while trying to stay in this squat position. Once you manage to hop and jump from one side to the other to the rhythm of the beat, try to use your arms and hands to give your Russian step a good form. CC. Start in the Zulu spin position. From here you want to execute half a Zulu spin while giving it a small sideways kick and bouncing back into your start position. From here we switch the legs like the Russian step followed by a CC on the opposite side. Start out by placing both hands on the side while performing your CC and then over time you can easily use your hands to create other forms. Hey, if you're liking this video already, then just smash that like button right there so you can help me out rank this video on YouTube. Up next is the six step, which consists of, you guessed it, six steps. Start with a push up position with the legs slightly spread. Step one is step in with your left leg to the front, again, ending up in the Zulu spin position. Step two is stepping with your right foot behind your left knee, ending up standing on the right foot. Step three is stretching out the left leg, creating a circle and ultimately placing it next to our right one, ending up in the squat position. Step four is stretching out the right leg all the way to the right, and creating a big circle, locking it around your left leg. Step five is a big step to the back with the left Left foot and finally step six is opening the legs back up and finishing back where we started take your time to memorize and exercise these six steps execute every step as clearly as possible before starting to speed up keep in mind when performing the six step always face forwards also take your time when performing this so you can use your arms and hands to refine your form
Moving on with the monkey swing. Start with step four of the six step. While swinging and right before the legs would come into contact with each other, you want to perform a leg switch and extend the left leg to the left. Once the left leg is in position, you are now going to perform the same swing in the other direction until we reach the same point and then creating another switch, creating a continuous pattern. Make sure while swinging the legs that you create the biggest swing possible to amplify the move. So guys, if you want to learn more of this stuff, then I have to add right here that I've been working on this beginner's masterclass for a while right now. This beginner's masterclass is a 70 minute video sharing tons of beginner knowledge like top rocks, footworks, blow ups, power moves, freezes, all at beginner's level and all really, really well explained by your man Coach Sam. To keep it short, if you love this video right here, then you're going to love the beginner's masterclass. So if you're interested in this masterclass, then just head on over to my website that you can find in the description down below. Don't forget to check out the full beginner series that you can find on my YouTube channel. And if you learned something from this video, then don't forget to support me by definitely leaving a like and a random comment. And then you can hit the subscribe button or whatever you want, just to make sure you might stay up to date with all the new videos that I'm releasing in the future. Because then, at the end of the day, when you think about it, it's just all about that b-boy shit.